okay so i'm gonna start i'm going to start a new work workspace here so this is you see this workspace 3 that's getting added so i have one two this is the first workspace and after you uh, start the workspace you go to data lab laboratory and here this is the place where actually we import our data so i'm gonna use import spreadsheet here and we all we already have this uh, the gml data here which is complete uh, data that we need for our analysis so i'm just gonna here this is a directed graph i'm not gonna change anything the only thing that i'm going to do is append to the existing workspace so it will append to the existing workspace 3 so that's what the change i will do here and it's, it gives me the number of nodes and the number of edges and everything else i'm not going to change anything and then click ok <clears throat> So this gives us very high level, uh, pretty much whatever there in the uh, GML file, like ID, the label, and the values, I think it's uh, direction zero and one. So if I scroll down, I can see something coming to something zero and something one. You see one here. Uh, I think this, this value is the node value. Okay, I maybe we'll, we'll check it later. So if I go back to the overview now so this is my data and now i'm going back to the overview and here you see this uh, big uh, i can see the network already built for us so this is the default one we, we can play around with this i'm gonna hide so if i click on this little t icon here it's gonna display the uh, the um, label which is not required for us so i'm gonna hide it I'm gonna hide this is actually I think the uh, so edges if I hide the edges I can see all the points here and also if I expand this icon if you see this drawer icon and I go on to the labels tab here and I hit hide not selected ones and then I enable this my T here then wherever I move my cursor I will see the name of that person here okay so it's just like a quick way to isolate otherwise if i don't do this it will automatically do it for all which is not important and then we have other properties here to see how we can play around okay so the let me just keep it the on selected one and drop it now the best thing that we have is we can use this icon here to just uh, bring it to the center and we can use scroll uh, mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. So let's keep it like this. So the best thing we have this choose different layout. So I'm gonna use, so we, if you want to expand it, you can use expansion. So if what it will does is it, if you run it once, it expands the like expanding from the same location. It's like kind of in zoom. So it actually increases the distance. And the, similarly, we have a contract and which is like it, it's reducing it by scale of 0.8. So that's how every time you run, it's gonna scale it down. So I'm going to actually expand it for now. And yeah, this looks better. And then I'm going to use, so there are multiple uh, option that we can try. Um, let's see, brute force something force atlas let's see how does this look so we can there are different algorithm uh, and if you know something we can uh, find different plugins to see how and then if you see they just stop I, I hit run and it's doing and it's actually doing the uh, simulation and we need to wait we can wait and see how this simulation happen and you see the data is getting segregated here and if you think it's making sense to me I can do stop here or I can wait for another simulation so I just did stop so my data set is not ready. I'm actually also going to do is so this is like without any color and all. I don't know what is where. And if I enable the edges, it's it's completely making no sense to me because uh, the uh, up the let me see if I can. OK, no, there is uh, if I go up, I can find the edge option and I can see I can reduce the uh, like the uh, color uh, properties like how we want to see the edges or I can completely say don't show me okay and then there is in and out for now I'm not showing the edges let's let's see how this looks later on 
okay and i can also use this scale just to go back into the center and then use this scroll to see it <clears throat> so now we have uh, this data in the, the right format now i'm going to do the partition so this section tells me the different actions that i can perform on the nodes all these matrices or the centrality images that we can calculate this is one way of doing it but before i do this uh, i want to show you this piece uh, the statistics option here which is like uh, it gives you a full set of information so you have you see different um, majors we have if i see run so it gives me even though these graphs are not that um, interesting we can close this but we can see this information here the, the average degree of this complete graph is 12.768 similarly we can see the density and I, i'm gonna treat it as directed because uh, it's, it's fine and it's giving me 0.09 uh, and then there are like other different parameters that we want to use whatever we want to check we can use this here and once you run this the, the beauty of this is that if you go back to your data laboratory you can see all this information getting uh, built up for you here so if you see here we have the degree here in degree and out degree the total degree because we calculated the degree of the graph and that information can also be seen here so that's like it's, it's getting it's something getting added to your data so every operation that you perform is getting added to your <clears throat> data set similarly i was looking for and um, i can there's so many things so let's quickly do the partition so i'm doing because we have the nodes and and in the nodes we have an attribute of value okay and i'm going to do the partition on value one and two so it says me zero is of 50 percent and one is 49 percent and if i do an apply based upon my data set you see how this looks like okay and we have a different uh, methods or maybe some uh, we can use different layout just to visualize the data this is one more way of visualizing i'm gonna use uh, you fan who's visualization just to show you how does it look so if you see it puts everything in the center and and the mostly disconnected nodes on the on the top so if you see here like people here they they are they are not connected with anything now have the edges and you see they have the zero degree and the one more uh, why i'm saying zero degree let's to validate this if i go to the labels and i'm gonna use uh, size as uh, the, the size of my text and you see this configuration option here you can use that and i'm using label i want to show degree as well okay and then if i mouse my cursor i'm seeing it very small let me see size is node size no fixed okay it's i'm not able to see it let's see zoom in okay i'm using scale node size now or should be using let's see this okay so you see the degree so it says the name and then the degree information it says the name and then the degree information name and the degree so whatever whoever is in the uh, in the uh, the outer zone or the periphery of the network they have zero de zero degree like they are not making any contributions to the network and let's say if i go to this part of the graph where i can see so let me go to the edges once again i'm gonna make this scale looks little stronger so now if i go here you see this guy has two degree so this is the different types of information and then i can just switch it back to the normal one so